Hello, so we are back, yeah, same first day. And we have a comeback job, you know, comeback job. So they fixed it before, and now it's coming back. Look, my laptop is not working again, yeah. This laptop was here to be fixed 10 March 2017. Hopefully, you can see it, yeah. So it's over one year, and what I did fix on this one. This was booked in for motherboard by my colleagues, but I know for sure based on the fault and the, the customer said, you know, it's same fault. The laptop is beeping. Beeping Dell graphics. Yeah. Like this model, maybe, maybe they are beeping. I don't know, but I didn't find like a issue beeping with different fault. So this is graphics probably can be beeping if, even if it's a RAM fault. So this is a Dell Inspiron 5010 N5010 Reg model P10F Okay Inspiron 5R Dell model 5010 Okay Let's check together <coughs> Let me find the charger Let's check together. Oh, I'm quite happy over one year with a graphic uh, thing. So we can check together what I did over one year ago for this laptop to fix it. Yeah. The laptop is on. Okay, one more time. Eight, eight beeps. Eight beeps. I don't know what this means. Dell eight beeps. We can check online. Dell, Dell laptop. Eight beeps. That's crazy, you know, the, the internet is crazy. Dell A beeps error means LCD failure. You can fix it by holding D key and power button until you get... No, that's, that's, that's not... Yeah, one second, one second. Okay. Yeah, we can see video with VGA fix. Yeah, the people they have solution, they just open up and heat up the GPU. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So let's see this one. What I did on this laptop one year and a half ago what I did probably like basic things like uh, cleaning the fan uh, replacing the thermal paste and obviously heating the, the, the chip but let's do it again let's do it again and see if it, this is still working you know like we can still bring this laptop to life just hitting the the GPU chip. And I'm curious what I did. I used thermal pads. Because I usually when I can, I'm using thermal pads just to get the heat from the chip and send it on different place. Yeah. But admit it, it's impressive. One year and a half with a graphic issue.
Basse. Let me get out all the screws. The hard drive ones, no, I'll not take the hard drive ones. We have screws here, where is the memory? Yeah, from the CD drive. Okay. Let's get out the keyboard. Ha 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 ha. You know what I did more? Look here, you can see this wire. Yeah? So I think. I don't know if I'm right. Maybe in this mo I think on this model the fan is not spinning. So the fan is spinning when it, when uh, when the processor reach some temperature. You see it's a tiny wire from here to the fan. Yeah, so probably on this one I made the fan spinning all the time. And you'll say again, yeah, that's the reason why the laptop died. Because you'll not be spinning like slowly, like 3.3. I'm always using 3.3 from the 3.3 power rail. And there will be people saying, oh, yeah, it's not supposed to be 3.3. It's supposed to spin based on the on the how, how hot it is. No, 3.3 volts on the fan is meant to cover all the cold hot playing games I don't know so actually your fan is spinning fast up to 5 volts if you have like overheating issue but the system is made to be you know to be cooled down without having the fan spinning at full <laughs> the pad, yeah? And yeah, we can see here heat sign, we can see some flux. The fan wire. Now let's plug it. Let's plug it. You can see straight away was a graphic issue, you know, because when you heat up something, the color gets changed of the board. So it's plugged. Let's power up. The first two pins, no? Last two, last two pins, yeah? It's on. So the fan is spinning all the time. So hopefully you can hear the beeping. You know what I will do? I will do exactly the same thing. I will clean the fan, I will change the thermal paste and hopefully we can give to this laptop one more year. Yeah? I just want to see if the laptop is coming uh, to life if I'm heating up the, the the GPU from the back yeah now we have four five hundred degrees five hundred degrees full air power and yeah, that should be enough yeah and uh, this idea with the pad yeah we having a pad here, a thermal pad from the back of the GPU sending the heat on this metal plate is brilliant, you know. I will send heat from the from the graphic chip anywhere where I can.
Yeah, so the heat sink is getting uh, hot, that's mean it's sending the heat, so the heat pipe is good. Just try to cool down this. Well, we have a heat pipe anyway, so it's not a problem. Let's test it one more time. The last two pins from the power button. And we have picture! Of course, because it was a graphic thing. It was a graphic problem, yeah? So that's the way how you fix the graphics on this laptop. And that's the way how you, you know, make the life longer. Replace the thermal paste, yeah? Clean the fan, you can connect the fan to 3.3 volts somewhere. And also use a heat uh, heat sink. Heat sink, uh, heat, heat sink pad, yeah? To take the heat from the back of the chip and send it to anywhere else. Even, even if you don't send to nowhere, yeah? You can't send the heat because you have nothing there. Just use a pad to create mass, you know? So the heat can spread more. Okay, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you later, yeah? I will, you know, that's boring, I'll take out, I'll clean, or, you know, that, that's, that we know already that, yeah? Bye.